I mashed three very ripe bananas in this bowl. You know, the darker the skin, the sweeter your banana bread is going to be. Uh, so if you get like really black bananas, you know, you forgot them or you just didn't eat them, don't throw them out. Make some banana bread. And you know, by the way, you can freeze them also to make them in the future. I'm going to add three tablespoons of oil and a teaspoon of vanilla to this. Two large eggs at room temperature. Three quarters cups of uh, plain yogurt. You can use milk or buttermilk if you would prefer. You can also use sour cream. And three quarters cups of sugar. All right, we're gonna mix this. In this bowl, I have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt. Uh, I will put all the grams for this on the recipe for you. I'm simply going to put those dry ingredients into this bowl. And we're only going to mix it until it's all incorporated. We're not going to overbeat this. You know, if you overbeat this, you will end up with chewy banana bread. Kind of dense. I'm going to add half a cup of chopped walnuts. Just fold that in and we're done. We're going to transfer our dough to a lightly greased bread loaf pan. Let's level it up a little bit. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar on top. This is going to go into an oven that has been preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 176 centigrade, between 50 and 60 minutes. I will check it at 50 if a, a skewer or a cake pin comes out clean when, you, when I put it in, it's ready. If not, I'll continue cooking it and check it every five minutes after that. Our banana bread is ready. Ay, ay, ay. We're going to let it cool down inside the bread loaf for about 30 minutes on top of a cooling rack. Then we're going to, uh, we'll unmold it. This took 60 minutes. As you can see, I unmolded this. I'm going to let it cool down completely on top of this rack before we cut into it. Look at this. Oh, it is beautiful. Mmm. We have nice and tender bread. Let's taste it. Mmm, 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 mmm. The flavor is perfect. <laughs> the consistency is perfect. It's just great. Oh, I love that little crust that the brown sugar does on top. This is good stuff. I hope you give it a try. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked it and you give me a like, that'd be awesome. If you share it with your friends, that'd be super awesome. Duh. If you haven't subbed, don't forget to sub, okay, so you don't miss out on anything. This recipe will be on the website, waiting for you to come and print it, as always. Eat well without going broke. I'm going to see you guys soon.